Enhanced recovery is really um, the integration of a care team. And what I witnessed when I was a fellow was how integrated and what a team approach it was taking care of patients with colon erectile pathology and uh, how, how good the outcomes were. But I think what really impressed me was how quickly the patients were discharged. It was pretty routine that patients uh, with all different types of colon or rectal pathology and procedures, they were leaving in three to four days. I had a uh, inflamed colon, which sent out little projections and one of them hooked up to the bladder. So the colon and bladder were hooked and the wrong things were going to the wrong places. So I had these urinary tract infections. I went to my primary physician, who's Dr. Clyde Parton, and he gave me a name of names of three surgeons, and right at the top of the list was Patrick Sullivan. After my diagnosis, I had a colonoscopy in May, and I, they discovered a tumor. I had no idea what to expect, but after I was there, I knew I had, was in the right place. Every appointment I had with Dr. Sullivan, he answered all my questions, and he was very reassuring. He and his team were with us every step of the way. You get the, the idea right away, and it's correct, that these guys care about you. It's not just a surgical procedure. It's not just getting in there and, and running up the count. And he told me exactly what we had to think about, the risk factors. He told me the factors of not having it treated. He told me the probability of things that would happen if we did treat it, but we had complications. And he was very forthright. Dr. Humphrey and Ms. Tanner both went through our program. Basically, they met with me in the clinic. We uh, saw that the patients would benefit from a procedure. So then we initiated them on enhanced recovery. They come in, they get a booklet, uh, which provides them information regarding what it's like to have surgery with us. The booklet explained every stage. It had all your pre-appointments, all your post-operative timelines. All the information about the pre-op care, what I needed to do the diet that I would have to under, undertake, both before and uh, after the surgery, the medicines changes that I would have to have, and the uh, university pharmacist and uh, anesthesiology depart department looked those over and made sure they were correct. So there was a lot of preparation that went on. We've been doing this now since January of 2015 with a uh, integrated team of anesthesia, uh, nursing, uh, the wound ostomy care nurses, the colorectal surgeons, and uh, since 2015, we have um, taken off at least a day off pa patients' um, lengths of stay, and we've decreased the complication rate by about 20%. I think that the word team was first used in my treatment by Dr. Sullivan. He kept talking about his team, and I thought he meant just the surgical team. But he meant all of the physicians that helped diagnose me, help me refer, refer me to the right docs and to take care of me afterwards. You're a member of that team because if you don't do what they ask you to do, none of this is gonna work. I think that uh, this is just the beginning. We have a very uh, engaged group, people who are passionate about providing the best evidence for our patients. And uh, what, the, where I see it is determining uh, the best approach uh, as, it, as it changes as we come up with new um, medication that'll enhance GI recovery, um, avoiding um, the uh, prolonged period of time that our, uh, the patient's GI tract is not working, um, and being able to really uh, make sure that all new evidence that we gain through the literature is integrated into standard uh, pathways of care. And that once those are determined that we replicate them at our other sites.